How's it going? Um, I just wanted to, you know, just kind of explain um, <clears throat> basically what my goal is and um, what to do and what all lyricists need to know how to do and all people who are actually smarter now. Um, Brought to you by UM. Amazing. Okay, well, the point here is there's a wind, and there's when you're a man, you know, a girl can, you know, and, um, <clears throat> Anyway, I'm just going to just read you what I said, and uh, maybe you will like it. Um, here's what I wrote. Brain cloud, pull out the white contents, all of them, and eat the brain by pulling out all of the momentum contents out of the brain. It will be things that require medication, such as need to take a pill or eat food, but given time constraints. <clears throat> it's always, I'm in a rush, okay, let me. Or, I'm depressed and lonely, so I'll do this thing for satisfaction, but only if there is another person or others to talk about it while I am quiet, and then I will say I am outgoing, but I will only copy others and use their movements, and then be depleted, which will ha then have a comment about how I am shy, and then someone will put a baby as food for me to have sex with, which results in eating messily with the baby and not achieving a goal while it is killing me by being a large obstacle that is pooping and peeing itself by it not responding. It is eating me by using pieces of food on the face to make it look like opposite sex or something attractive and not notice that it is concentrated in its position as one further condensing solid in one place and then words and phrases become small and lose leverage. For example, I'll be tired and have enough energy or be too motivated to where I am motivated enough but am not allowed to be. Like when someone is too loud and I'm too quiet. Also a burning sensation on the face and the joints. Smiling will also burn. It reminds me of a period that is not gouged out which results in burning sensation, and the frowning is a burning smile, a flat gesture, is the symmetry of two fingernails on both sides of a finger, bottom and top, with the finger in the middle, and is like there is one piece of food in the middle, like when a clam is scraped and eaten, and it is the word cud, then longer, girder, curd, and then is it, it is ignored by being skipped as it piles up as no one will eat their curd and will not wash their feet or groom such as equivalents to eating lice or pulling dander from hair or washing it after the hair mats together or poop mats together which makes lost speech if it is not noticed and does not alert sting but passive stinks as alert and the skip goes on for an amount longer than it takes to see me so that means there is absolutely no com communication and that abandoned noises can be very stinky. Or what we call clean similar to good and bad being one thing or another which does not include digestion. It also makes something said spread out for a long time. For example, if I say one word and still allow the panic breeding, something that takes one unit to say will take longer than one unit to say will be higher than one unit to say, and will just take apart what is said, dividing it by halves, until it says the opposite of what it says, thus destroying me, and giving me that many units of age, which is one unit, and one grain of curd is consumed. Struggle to keep this curd is simulated and should not be the way that actual speech is. The curd, which is a clean salvic unit, if eaten, like how sperm and egg is removed from the bag, also, P is not allowed. This is because of the phrase pisses me off and how it has nothing to do with the white candy taste of the female real cum is. There has to be male pre-cum and female dense white cum. It is different. It is a conversation. 
the male cum is stagnant because it does impregnate, and female squirting cum is the same as peeing, so pre-cum pulled out of bag is denser to pull out, and the white candy sucked out of bag is denser to pull out. Although the sperm looks heavier, the female squirt is the exact same thing as peeing only and comes out too fast like an accident or self-defense mechanism. So the actual thing we're trying to constantly suck out. It is pre-cum for man and thick cum for woman. Sperm and squirt is pee. <clears throat> thick cum woman and clear cum man just creates how water actually is and feels. If you could just be water but requires momentum to just explain it. It is for speech. Water and thought so far looks like ether, cannot be hydrogen and two oxides. It needs cum, but not sperm and egg. It needs the substance that makes everything something more than a baby face. Sloshing substance is candy and pre-cum. Put in a cup is a white juicy substance. The white from girl is the same feeling as from guy with the semen coming out. So figure out how to pull that string out of there looking. Using math pre-p plus pre-p equals candy should be pre-p for sure you discovered. And it's just basically 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 is the fact that uh, um, all I do is basically analyze every single hole and I go inside of you and then I turn you into a glove and I feel inside of your ball sack and I open up your penis and I take all of your sperm out and all of your cum out and all of your um, poop out, I go in your butt, physically, with my body, and if you bend over, and there's any kind of non, um, it's supposed to be the substance, it's, it's supposed to be able to move this, you know, it's supposed to be able to even fall into here, it's the same thing, that it, it is, it's, it's like when the wind brushes against the plant, but you realize that the plant is a speaking thing and it is actually wrapping a line or something and it actually can is making the wind blow the tree and is actually um, when it gets pushed by the tree it is actually making it push the tree and it has to use this body in order to actually do that, to push the tree, and to push the breeze, and to push the plants, and to push the to push the to push the piles up. And um, anyway, um, I basically just uh, <clears throat> I said the zombie part with the eating. Well, it's not a zombie because a zombie does not eat brains. Um, a zombie is usually just people who have sex with each other. But my point is is that I, I want to basically do a full sundial front forward fall um, at um, Jesus and at uh, Eminem and also anyone else you know, that is hindering it. Einstein, that's another one. And I just want to be able to do that also against all of the things that are family members because all family members are is stink. And it's like if something was not washed and it seems to put pieces back together of something, you know, and it always has to do with someone having a period. And when my eyes are shut to... Uh, you know, remember my knowledge using my flash memory, you know, it actually is someone going, I want to have my period with this. And it, it skips what I have to say and someone else not listening to what I was thinking is actually speaking over me, you know, and it makes what I have to say quiet and it makes what they have to say, what I have, to, it makes it really loud. 
you know, and, um, anyway, I open up the bag in, uh, Super Mario RPG as, um, Croco, <clears throat> which is a crocodile, and all it does is get really angry and it opens up your ball sack and it takes all of the cum out of your balls and and it basically removes everything inside of you it takes your poop out of your body it takes your everything out of your body and it runs it through you like a cipher and it keeps feeling in that bag and i'll have to show you what it looks like i guess um, I'll just pull up a video so you can see it. And, um, But my goal is to find the planet that that's from, the person, and become it, and find the good reasons why that person is there, and then defeat all of the human reasons to still be a human and find other things and not planets. Just anything else besides just the same mundane things in life and being stuck in a place where I cannot speak about things I talk about, which are intellectual things. You know. And I can't go further, and then someone's like, you're a deep person, but I can't understand you. And they're already, uh, you know, going against, you know, the very special rules that I've put there. And especially, if, you know, with the Jesus part. You know, the Muhammad part. You know, like, these kind of things that keep me here. You know. Well, let me just go ahead and finish it. There it is. Let's see, I want to make it. that bag. Hmm. And then when he, you know, And um, <clears throat> I wanted to base all my music on just that. If I could teach someone to do it, that's what I'd tell them to do, is to figure out how to be all the bad characters in that game. Because um, it looks like, you know, Squaresoft, which looks like, you know, Einstein, is getting completely ruined by things that actually do not like him. And I do not like Einstein, and I believe that Mario looks exactly like Einstein because he looks like Hirohito. He also looks like Hitler. And um, he also looks like um, the Pope. And um, Jesus, too. You know, because he is an Italian, you know, which is the you know, Holy Roman Empire and where the Vatican is and it just seems to be where you'd have to be you know, he has gloves on as well 
you know, and I'm just tired of looking at it, you know, I'm tired of it. And, um, but yeah, um, how I basically do everything, I mean, maybe this isn't really about my subject, but I think it is, but usually, I mean, I listen to a lot of, like, you know, demonic music, like Slipknot too, and you know, disturbed maybe, or I thought it was just hiding under some shade with some stuff playing. But the thing is, is that, I don't know, usually what I do with people, everyone that I see, I do it to, you know, and I, I keep tabs, you know, I can tell when someone has old hair, I can tell they're not, they didn't do it enough. And I mean, I see all the features. I mean, I look at everything and I take it off, you know, everything I don't want. You know, and anything that, you know, is going to not add to it, I, you know, while I have, like, something I can say that is not useful, you know, and, um, so anyway, I take their body, and then I put it up against the wall, or put it up against the ground, or put it up against anything, up against the background, you know, and then, you know, I take this body here, and then I... Um, keep it up against it, and then I make it rap my song, you know, and I make it not hear what I have to say if it is not what I have to say, and I basically, you know, like, I will jack off and milk the person using a girl's hands that they said that they would have sex with if I couldn't talk to the girl first, you know, and be like, wait a minute, let's have the conversation about what we're trying to learn instead of not pay attention. And then if it's gay, I'll get the gay guy and make him milk the dick too. And um, I'll have the exact same conversation with the guy about it first. And I'll be like, look, man, you needed to talk to me first because this is all I've thought about. And I'm trying to be smarter than Einstein. You know, and, you know, I want to destroy religion. I want to destroy everything like that. And I don't want to leave it like that in the scene. And also, like, if it's, you know, it could be guy, girl, girl, guy. It could be girl, girl, you know, where a girl's, like, figuring another girl. And I'm like, wait a minute. Like, I chose to be another girl, you know, and I will go in there and I will get all the way inside of your body and... You know, like if you got with a girl that I didn't want you to get with, if you're a girl, then I will milk that girl and attack her, you know, just like I attack everyone else. And it's basically just a defense mechanism because I was a premature baby and I didn't want to be born. And then there was like an error or something which wasn't there. You know, it was like there's a post and a pre- and all this stuff that I do not like at all. And um, I didn't want to be born, you know. But anyway, <clears throat> I also just wanted to know, you know, that there's other places to come from and be like before this. Because this place is a really crappy place according to what I've experienced so far in my life. And I'm realizing that definitely if this is it and you just it's just as bad as the game the sims and you just you're born and then you die you know it just doesn't seem i mean everything about it just looks completely worthless and very stupid except for the things that i like have favorite things about so i can you know actually accomplish a goal and you know some of the goals you know like the, with the alternate reality i actually want to make that a reality and I realize that there is a calculated weight, which actually needs to be given to me. When I look at a light, you know, it does make the purple, but all this other stuff I'm seeing is not actually uh, measured. And, you know, I forgot that my laptop was here, and then I claimed that someone stole my laptop because my window was open. And I, that means I am pinned, and it's by a piece of cake, you know, which is... Um, Probably not a piece of cake, you know. And, um, 
you know, another thing um, is just the fact that, you know, because I know it's, it's like a corner of a building and then it has the piece of cake and then someone says the word cake and it always, you know, I mean, my leg just did the rumble, you know, like a vibrate on your phone. But that weight of that, which is the weight being used, um, is like I forgot the laptop and how much it weighed. You know, I measured it by a meat sock with this guy named Billy, who was like a really hot looking gay dude that I liked, but I couldn't talk to him. And, um, you know, that's because I don't care about the sexuality part. I just wanted to actually figure out what he learned as an individual about, about being, not being about, about, you know, because when someone says, you know, Beatty as a name, you know, or someone says about, about, and they talk about, about, then that is that floating fragment of, you know, it's like a, you know, it's like a big blobby, you know, it's like a thing, you know, that is really annoying. And it seems to be what happens before we speak to each other and actually, you know, can't fight each other. We can't like, you know, like touch each other with reason, you know, not like I love you. I fell apart, fall asleep and now become I butter, you know. Um, so, um, and, uh, um, another thing is like, uh, I try to get rid of is keywords. You know, people say like, remember your family and remember Timmy and remember Jeep, you know, and remember Barrister, you know, all that stuff. I want to get rid of it because it's actually about other things. You also have the fact that. Uh, the back of your eyes can see too, and um, they're actually looking at, you know, what needs to be looked at. And when someone else is still talking about the same thing and it does the same route one time, and then it physically, manually tries to do it another time, you can tell that when it tries the extra time, you know, that it uses all of its work to go all the way around it and then completes your little area, you know, which is actually something that you actually have well I mean you should have power over it you should be able to actually um, not have it where someone has to physically complete something by leaning and relaxing you know in order to accomplish said goal and I thought that tantric sex would have been an idea you know as just far as you know pinning the body down getting it to, you know, salivate properly, beat properly, come properly. I thought maybe even a good method of just continually getting down to this would be just being able to have a constant way to have constant pre-cum. I thought about making pre-pee, like to make the cum be, you know, actually you have to pre-cum before you pee, so you'd have to make your dick pre-cum before anything will come out of it. I thought that would be a good uh, measure. I also, um, you know, thought that, uh, <clears throat> you know, like holding breath for other people, um, usually when I see like someone's feet, I'll take them and like, I'll like lick under the toenails and fill up under here with my teeth and eat all of that off and then thank it for being there, of course and clean all of it off and you know wash it with some water and get all the dirty sticky residue that's kind of like having a bunch of um i guess you could say like the gummy tackle bait after you caught some fish you know with those it's like a green worm that goes on the hook and if you had about maybe i'd say 45 um of those lure worms that goes in a bag and it smells like fish and it's just all sticky and gunky just imagine that and imagine a flower with someone's face going like hmm you know and just the symmetricality of like 
you know, a flower, if it had three petals or, you know, like it has that little pew, you know, it's got that little tiny, um, it's like a flower, but if it was like had water in the bottom of it and it's just really annoying, you know, to talk like that. And, um, it's just that all of the, um, gooky, squishy stuff, you know, is like looking at, I guess you could say, uh, Tom Hanks, you know, that's another guy I'm trying to do that to, and, um, his butt, if it was like, I don't know, probably 88 degrees heat, and, like fat and his face crinkles because it crinkles like a bag and um you know he talks like he 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 you know he talks like that and I was like wine taste my taste you know and uh because he always does that and it is just so nasty you know I don't like it and um you know you, you you not being able to milk the person and get the information by pinning the person and then i thought about how religion actually is that milking and i thought about how christianity is that milking and i thought about how jesus is already milking like that and then I thought that maybe milking wouldn't be it then. But when I try to fight someone, when I'm trying to give them information, it seems like I'll have to do the next thing down and I'll have to be even more angry, you know, in order to actually, you know, continue pressing or to get it, you know, uh, to understand but to me, it's like there's two syllables in the word baby, and it seems to be one syllable, and someone pushes it, you know, like that, you know, and I just don't like to see the squishy bean, you know, because it reminded me of being born, and I just didn't like to see it, and if I could just be able, you know, to take you know, me pushing against something and it actually has me pushing back. Like if there was light, I'd like to be able to push back at the light because I know that it is pressure. I also know that when I close my eyes and I see the uh, little staticky pressure there, I realize that probably, I guess you could say probably like the guy from Family Guy, Peter, his foot, you know, is probably that substance, you know, the substance of his sock, if it was not washed, you know, for about three days, um, I'd probably say, or maybe, you know, like a, I don't know, but, um, BDD, you know, um, I just think that it's, a sock consistency and it's the mathematical fact that you cannot move the uh, big toe and the index toe when there is something in between here and because of that um, the sock movement you know it after you know sucking every single you know girl's foot and guy's foot that was positioned in a way where you can actually suck it, I realized that it was still there and that it was actually not right in between that foot. And it was um, basically that pressure, you know, and I realized too that also that purple pressure from these eyes you know, maybe I should use the dark purple here, but 
I can change the shapes of the purple pressure when it looks at the light, but that pressure is still a guy's foot that is a sock that has, you know, kind of stuff going on, and it isn't proper that way, and, you know, but anyway, what I do anyway is, well, what I thought I did. Was that because I wanted to get it out? I don't want to be in the substance once I have done it. You know, I just want to be able to get that out of there. And I have to tell you, too, another lesson that you need to learn about, you know, not liking science and not liking all this stuff is completely normal. But it's more than normal. You know, um... I hate everything about this freaking planet. If there was another planet or another place I was from, especially not a planet. Like if it could be anything else, it would be finally what I want. You know, and I don't think that I can't do that here because I'd have to have a way to go to some better place that I'd want to be, you know, another form. I mean, you know, ping, you know, And, um, I don't know what else to say about it, but when I have to talk to people and they say light and right and plight and might, and it doesn't do anything useful, there's all of these bad connections here. It's like when someone says, you know, because there's momentum when things move and there's, you know, pressure when things move. And when something is moving and you're like, well, you know, what's the right thing to do? And then you just say, you know, there could be another momentum. You know, it doesn't have to be just because I'm going like this, you know, that you can just go like this one time. And then that was right. You know, I mean, why would you think that that makes a wave and that's all? I mean, do you understand that there are more than just one limb when there was a conversation, you know, but just because that you can easily notice that when someone says, you know, something clearly that you disagree with, you know, they're like, you know, um, you know that, um, you know, this thing right here is actually, you know, like colored like yellow and red, you know, and then you're like, no, this is actually, you know, light green, you know, or it'd be completely off, you know, it'd be like a completely different thing about this. And then someone continues to talk over me, you know, and, you know, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's just that that has to have it happen, you know, and the people that request sex, I have milked them so hard by just trying to get rid of it, you know, that basically it's now down to people will offer me, because I have them pinned, they'll be like, can I have like a piece of like unwanted gravel off the road so I can have sex with the piece of gravel off the road piece of gravel? You know, or, I mean, I just have this little cone-shaped, um, you know, sort of like a pencil sharpener, you know, like if I could just all the way down and, you know, just kind of take every last glimmer of a replay and I could just piece it back together here instead of it be where I have to get out of my circuit and you know, out of my area of this momentum that I'm creating. And then I have to go and actually go out of my way to watch another person, you know, and, and, and speak in English even. I mean, just me talking, like I said, you know, could be very tasky. And when someone has to talk again, and someone has a huge thing to say to you, because you are an obstacle... 
you know, is one of the things that I have to be able to do is remove the obstacle. And if they are the obstacle that decides to slowly turn around and then present themselves to me, then I have to speak back with my large, you know, copy of what they have to say back to them. Because I have to reflect what you look like. You know, I have to say that I can take any social person and I have to flip your energy back on you. And then I have to put you down and pin you. And then I have to let go of you and let you have that small piece of the you lost an item which was stolen. Stolen still has to do with sex, with profit. And it actually is a substance that is the very substance I'm about to speak of, which is female cum and male cum. Well, I have said it already, but it's, it's what it feels like to be water. And now, it is a good thought, you know, to know that, that water... I mean, that water is actually that good to feel like and be. But being water has a sloshing mechanism, you know, and it can, well, it isn't really that, but <coughs> we try to make things in thought. Out of water, H2O. <clears throat> we still have, you know, religion and a guy who created the triangle shadow that goes against you. And how H and, you know, two balls and an H still says the word Yahweh or Hamen. You know, and I don't even like that name. And, um, I don't really believe belly leave gut instinct but fuck I mean I try to you know go past you know I try to give you back to yourself is what I do I take you out and then I put you back to yourself you know but the thing is but 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 but, but I'm not hearing anything you know and um but anyway, just that sloshing of the um, white liquid, you know, which is male cum, which is lighter than the semen, like just the pre-pee, and then the female pre-pee, which would be the actual cum that comes out. Because the squirting is actual urination and comes from the bladder, but the actual condensed cum is actually the same equivalent in weight as the semen from the balls, except for the fact that it has nothing to do with replication in either way. So it would actually also just be the uh, saliva substance, you know, as is pre-cum would, you know, be. And, um, you know, from you know, that pre-com. Um, that sloshing around of it actually is the substance that it creates. It smells like candy. When you uh, have the right thoughts, you will smell like the candy. It's a white candy. And, um, it, well, you know, that's a good question. You know, I don't know if it actually happened when I was a kid or not, but the first year of my life was so sexual, I really couldn't even remember it. Um... Anyway, it doesn't really matter because I have something I have to do, you know. Um, 
anyway, I feel all of the layers and using phlegm, you know, is a way you can feel the pressure of someone's body and their layers. And I really am not interested in possession because it doesn't make any sense, obviously. And I'm not interested in demons because all that is is just something that makes Jesus' penis hard, which is useless. And to give it a name is even more of a useless thing. You know, and that is just a little corner of vision which can't be seen. You know, that can, wide open. And, I mean, you can just you know, go to China and see someone who has condensed laughter and it seems that they don't accept condensed laughter if there is a offering going on between pieces of junk, you know, that are not even there for speech. And I don't know. I mean, I, I felt like I would... I mean, how could I feel like I'm going to die if... I milk myself. I mean, if I'm milking something, when you do that, I mean, that's just some kind of studying m and M. but, I mean, do you really think that I would have to literally, you know, take every person's body and lick it and, you know, get stuff off of it and, you know, like if there's something bad, like get rid of whatever it is and, um... I mean, what what else, you know? I mean, would you have to do that? I mean, I don't think so, you know? I, I mean, when I say I'm removing sperm and removing eggs and removing brain, you know, I'm going on the fact that there's something else besides the body here which can actually do something. Like, you know, uh, some form of compressed energy or something that could have its own, you know... I guess you could say glove, you know, and could feel, you know, and actually have form, but actually be way cooler than cola. I mean, why would this be the, coming out of someone's mouth still, if I, if I could say something? I mean, why is cooler someone pooping and you can see their butt still? I mean, if I'm actually doing it, then... You know, why can I not do it? I mean, why can't I just go to that person that says, cool, blah, 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 blah. and then, you know, I'm looking at someone, blah, 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 and then there's another commercial, and someone's like, blah, 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 hey. you know, and then you'll see all those commercials, and you see a little race car with a little snail race car, and he's like, blah, 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 hey. and then there'll be some people in a movie, and then they'll be like, <laughs> and they'll be eating popcorn or like kissing or having sex or just holding each other's hands or having some kind of, you know, obviously skull wrenching moment. And then they laugh and turn and then they wait for me to listen and then, <coughs> you know, comes out and it's just disgusting. And this stuff still is coming out. I mean, why isn't it solved then? It's not supposed to be something that's entertainment. It's supposed to be something that's actually supposed to be done, you know, and I mean, like, actually done, you know, it's supposed to be like, I'm getting rid of you having kids, people, and me having the kids, you know, because I look at every single person, and I want to have no kids if it is what's making me get older, and it is, it's, a, it's definitely an antisocial thing to have kids, okay, it's something you don't like, it doesn't feel good, there's nothing good about it. And you can see the trade of the body parts and how aging is and all the pieces and everything. But you can't. You know, and I don't like that. And I don't like the fact that if I could stand next to someone and say no to something, and I could have a better idea like I do always, I could say, well, how about we study our body a little bit more Instead of just, you know, attack each other and then you're like, hi, how are you? Well, I'm just gonna go and, you know, and just how that works and how it has a kid and actually touched my body because it's in all of the population. It should have a little spot where I am there. 
You know, I shouldn't have it where I am not there. And, you know, I mean, if I look at my foot, I put the layers of everyone else's foot based on the size and everything. And then below it, it's a whole roulette that goes all the way around. And just that I am there, I will stop and wait, just like a clock. You know, just like someone in line with something to say, just like a courteous person, courteous, not having sex, but an actual, you know, courtesy. You know, like, okay, it's time, here comes, it's like, it's like there's a clock, and, you know, it's like I'm, I'm starting here, you know, wherever I'm starting at, and I'm going click, 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 and then it skips one click, and then it clicks some more. How is it supposed to be able to do that? If it's not supposed to skip the click, it's not supposed to skip the click. You know, it's not supposed to skip it. And if it doesn't skip the click, then I should be able to say what I need to say. You know, and that's another thing about that. And that people can slip and fall and look like they're normal. You know, and people can, you know, like make a huge mistake and do everything they're not supposed to do and still be there is probably the biggest problem I've had. And, um, you know, I just hope that, you know, some of this stuff would actually help, you know, learning that, you know, that sloshing mechanism. And when I close my eyes, I can make things out of that mechanism because I can see it. <laughs> And that's all I got is just some sounds and sex and cake screaming. And that that's all my momentum is. I mean, why is this what Eminem would be or Chronic J would be if it's me? Want me? You know, I mean, is there anything, is there any way to escape death? Is there any way to escape? Is there any way? And this, that, it would go, is there any way, is there any way, is there any way, is there any way, is there any, 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 and all this stuff, I mean, it's just so built up in here, I mean, what am I supposed to do, you know, so that's how I do it, is, you know, I just keep scrying, and I keep, you know, I find me, and I mirror me back to me, and I talk to myself because I want to be able to have my body be completely in its form, you know, and I think that constant, you know, sex is probably going to be the only option. Since we have human bodies, we should be able to do everything with the human bodies, and there are smaller things of matter or larger, you know, bigger, you know, pieces of, um matter and I think that all the food would be there if it was tantric and I just wish that people would understand that you have to have it because um, there is no other fantasy and you know talking is talking I mean this is a penis it's my lips you know, um, my butt is my lips too. My eyes are my lips too. And, you know, so like I'm saying, you know, it just takes a lot of opening and prying and seeing who's the angriest, who's the maddest. But it still is me just kind of really can't go any further than that, you know, and can. And actually would. I had, you know, I mean, there's just so many things that I've done that I actually have done and I wouldn't want to be just stuck in one little spot. And I mean, even when I said, you know, eating zombie flesh, I mean, eating skin and <sighs> zombie is someone who dies to have sex. You know, and their body is so limp and exhausted that it gets sucked on and had sex with while they fight against it. And removing the sexual element, you know, actually would remove the decay of the body. You know, as far as the reproduction element where it has babies. And babies that 
you know, make you have big poop mess. And I mean, I know I've made it really, really far past this. And I do know that if I do have children, you know, I'd probably do a really, really good job better than anyone else ever will. But the big people have children. And I think that that's a mistake already. And I think that our bodies are probably don't have to eat, you know, but why am I referred to? Why are there commercials? Why are there people in the commercials? Why is there things that pop up? Why when I'm walking, someone can take a picture? You know, why when I'm doing something that I could be hired to do something? Why can I have my own ideas? Why is my gestures someone else's gestures? And they say, these are my things. And then because I am quiet and in their vicinity, that they just claimed me as their property and basically said that what they are doing is louder than me, yet I disagree with them completely. You know, like someone who says something I disagree with, and then I have to agree with them, you know, and I, I, I can say no, but it's not loud enough, you know, and just that. I can do slight little gestures and I know that, you know, I can completely disagree with someone, but how come I would be still in the cutoff? Like if my feet is actually another girl's feet or another guy's feet, how come it would come back around and then I would be selected out of that? And why is that? Because the word few is three and because it means more than a certain amount, which is a liquid amount or, you know... I don't know, but regardless with the music, I mean, kind of the sex and rape thing is probably all y'all have been doing this whole time. And, I mean, it, it doesn't answer everything. But it is definitely, you know, something that has to be done wide open. And it has to be worse than any porn that ever happened because... It has to expose everything, and it has to be really direct, and it needs to be able to paralyze you. And it needs to be able to um, basically just, you know, know that you are not me, you know, and that I am not you, and there's not a we in any situation. I'm How I look, how I want people to be is more like, you know, I am doing what I'm doing, and... You know, I do what I do, and then I did what I did. And then I, I am doing what I'm doing, and, and that's it. You know, it shouldn't have, you know, where there's this, you know, television, you know, hi, and then wait to be responded to. And then, you know, you go to, you know, people, you know, it's just not that. You know, just one piece of poop that's not in your butt having sex with it anally. You know, it has to really happen, but not anal sex. It, it's it's just the touching and the, it's not sex. You're not supposed to have sexual things. I mean, that's why we have hospitals. That's why we have um insane asylums and religion and commercials and tv and hollywood and um silence and waiting and you know awkward moments and just everything i hate all of this stuff you know and i mean i really don't know what else to tell you and you know, I mean, when I go to a doctor and I'm reading and it says, you know, like, here's your septum and here's your ribs and here's your octiitis. And it's always some guy with AIDS that's really tall. And he's like, come here, let me get there. Give me, let me get there. And then he goes like that. And then it's supposed to be my eyes. And then I can't see anything because it's all loopy and it's like Will Roger. You know, or whatever that little robot -y thing is. And, you know, it, it, it's just really bad. It's like if you say the word sternum, you know, it's supposed to have to do 
you know, I mean, and, and, you know, every single element is an itis. And I went over that in another video about how, you know, text, you know, is with the eyes. And you could just say, like, I need some uh, Advil, you know, and then they go to get Advil. And they take it like it's sex. And, I mean, when someone's taking pills and taking medication and taking vitamin C, you know, just to have someone, you know, have sex with them and give them the popular, you know, taste and everything, you know. And all of that, you know, just to take the pill, just to tell them, just to know. And they, they're sitting there shoving, you know, a huge square, you know, like a square building in the throat. And, I mean, just physically, I mean, I got to draw one on my DeviantArt that barely explains it. And it's called peer pressure or something like that. It's a girl trying to, having to smoke, or trying to smoke, and someone keeps pushing cigarettes in her mouth and telling her not to smoke by, by asking her to smoke. And it's got like this really long part right here where the neck is muscles is pushed forwards up here and then it's like you know like a drawer sliding and then it forwards it back and I mean just how your head could be up that way and just you know and just at that angle could be drawn that way and that your head is literally in muscle map just sitting there like that and it's knocked up this forward and then it's pushed back you know that far and then you know, it, it has that extra part where it's like, you know, even more, you know, like, you know, and I mean, just that much, one, two, three of a bend of the skull and just how that would push in, you know, and then, then it would push in this way and then it would push in this way, you know, and just of that. And you're like, well, I forgot something. Let me go get my target dropped it. You know, it's how people speak. And it's like, you know, you tell someone to get something done and then they forget it. You know, it would be like, you know, I have all of this stuff I want you to do, like me teaching you. And you're like, okay, I'll just forget it. And then you just, you know what, just drop everything you're doing and head for the nearest break. You know? <sighs> And I really mean it. I mean, I am so mad at me being born and being alive. And I'm so mad that everything has to have all this. I mean, just I am fat. I have a shin. And I mean, I am using this guy that's supposed to somehow, you know, as, you know, a fabric of what I am supposed to use you know, is supposed to actually be what I am supposed to use. To actually use, you know, as what I need to accomplish. You know, and I'm supposed to be able to call out people and call out things and wait and hesitate and let it build up and then in reality actually say what needs to be said. And actually... And then I see that, you know, that girl Brittany, like, pooped a donut that was that small and that it didn't even complete itself and it just turned into a little tiny little nugget of a donut, you know, that she just pooped like she could just be in like a, you know, like a donut. It just crumbled and I could just see Marshall's hand like that and it just crumbled. You know, because it was just so confectionate. You know, and it's like it wouldn't even be it. It wouldn't even be what I'm looking for. And all my ideas aren't his ideas. You know, and I hate that. I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, you know, I mean, just the way that that guy is spun around. And just the way that that one song, Two, two Trailer Park Girls. You know, and just how that does not make any sense and it doesn't go with my physic and that it is just not right and you know just going off of him using you know my force against him by mimicking him back to himself to hold him down and pin him and then tell him what I want him to do you know and I thought that I could do that 
you know, with everyone until I could talk to myself through them to myself. And then I could talk to them as me talking to me, but not in like in an obtrusive way, of course, because everyone else is obtrusive to me, you know, because, you know, I wait and I have something to say that actually is said, you know, instead of just something falling and, you know, I mean, I, I wait and I'm very, you know, patient and, you know, I get very impatient and I wait. And when someone wants something that is, you know, something that I am not going to do, why would you write that as my story? Why would you say uh, out of an observation, when I can look at you and make a perfect observation of where you've been, what you've seen, what you've known, why is not really the question here. But I am saying it, you know, why do you not be able to know where I was from and what I was doing? Because I can know what you were doing and where you were from. And I just take out all the things that are so residual in your life. You know, when you say I'm from here and I did this, it has a very long stretch. It has miles and miles of stretch. It has pounds and pounds and pounds of stretch. In grams and grams and grams of stretch. And I know that you can only say three things. And if you say four, it will pin you and boom. You know, it will fall on you down. It will sundial fall on you down. Because if you fall straight forwards at a certain angle, you know, um, if you do not have what you said be said and then fall at the exact right time when you have the shadow of what you know and then fall against it. I mean, I can't really explain. I can explain. I can't really explain. You know, but falling against it and I don't know. I mean, I, I just don't like how my conversation has no in it still, and don't, and I, I don't know, and you know, I don't know, you know, I don't know. I just don't think that that's really it. I have more to understand, and these things that pile up. I thought using idiocracy would be a good model for what these people are like and how stupid they are, you know, and I still... <sighs> You know, even this part is kind of programmed. I still shakes head. And I mean, even then, you know, there's people who have breasts and I can shake my head and it could be right in between one. You know, and just how that is so forced and just these motions and with the speaking and everything is probably, you know, something that is very political, political and actually has something to say that is actually important you know, instead of something that is not important. And just to quote someone has been what I've been doing, you know, to mirror the things back to themselves and to say what I want to say and push onwards, you know, is what I want to do. And I just don't see how that's not an accomplishable goal. And... You know, if I can't, well, it, I guess I've said enough. I'm just really frustrated and, you know, I'm obviously frustrated because they made all these videos and, I mean, honestly, I mean, I can't commit suicide because, you know, if I used a knife, I would have to cut my neck and that would not be useful because I would not be able to do something that would be useful. And so that doesn't work for you people out there. And I've seen so many people that just think about cutting themselves every day. And I don't know what else to say. It's just not what I would say. Say. And, um... I'd probably say, uh, I'm 
don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with it. Just trying to filter out all the baby squeals. You know, when the baby's like, <laughs> he goes, too little talk. You know, is what it says. Toe fuck. You know, it's always sexual stuff coming out. And that, you know, needs to be pushed back at it. You know, it shouldn't just come out on the side. And it has all these little, you know, just like I said, you know, about just pulling on someone's face, you know, and, you know, feeling cheeks. I mean, y'all haven't, you haven't done what I'm going to do yet, but ugh, I'm just so mad. I mean, y'all are the worst people ever, and you still call it parents. I'm not going to make music with someone who thinks that kids or God or parents or family, you know, even is a thing at all. And it isn't. And it's just poop. And I mean, how much poop, you know? And I mean, I have to go through people and I am proxying through every single person, you know, like I am me. Going through each body, just like the internet. Like I'm going here, ping one millisecond, ping two millisecond, ping three millisecond, ping four millisecond. You know, and I have, you know, maybe not in seconds, but in units, you know, of me being me doing something through every single person using distance and everything. Going through each one. And all I'm doing with those things is closing my eyes, feeling out things you know, and trying to get something done, and obviously, you know, seeing things. Tell the people.